1 Corinthians chapter number 15, verse 58. You can make it your memory verse if you wish. But I want to read it in an amplified version. It says, Therefore, my beloved brothers and sisters, be steadfast, immovable, always excelling in the work of the Lord, always doing the best and doing more than needed, being continually aware that your labor your labor. I want to say it again. Being continually aware. Continually aware. That your labor. Even to the point of being exhausted. In the Lord. Is not futile. Nor wasted. It will never be without a purpose. I know other versions say that it shall be rewarded. NIV says that our labor in the Lord is not in vain. Hallelujah. Now look at me. I want to talk about uh, my topic is never be moved. Never. Did I say? I said never be moved. I said never be moved. Therefore, when we say therefore, it's after a whole story has been given about the situation of the church of the, the church of Corinth and to those who believe in God today who have been called into the fellowship of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are part and parcel of what Paul is writing here. And Paul is saying, therefore, even though we go through what we are going through, even though there has been division, even though the church does not understand this and their doctrines and their giftings, he taught, he taught, he corrected mistakes, and then he comes to say, listen, church. Huh. Hallelujah. If somebody listening to me from wherever you are, don't be moved. You should not be shaken. Let nothing move you from your service to God. Hallelujah. Did I say something? There are people who don't even know why they are here. Some people are already contemplating and giving up. Some people have come to a point where they are at a plateau. Ask your neighbor, why are you plateauing? Why are you plateauing? Our God is not a God of plateau. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is with us always. The Holy Spirit is with us always. So the fire must keep on burning. The fire must keep on burning. Did I say the fire must keep on? Do not be tired. Do not be moved. Do not be shaken. I want to talk about these two words. Do be steadfast. Be unmovable. Steadfastness. Ability to stay in the right direction. Ability to stay in the right direction. Trouble or not trouble. Ha -ha. Hallelujah. Storms or no storms. You are still in the right direction. No matter what other responsibilities come your way. You know people are wavered by nothing. Tell your neighbor nothing is wavering you. People are wavered by nothing. Anything can cause you to say I'm not going to be available on Sunday. Anything can cause you to say I'm not going to be. Because you walk through the day. So you will not come for an overnight. Because you, what were you supposed to do? Were you supposed to sleep at daytime so that you come for the overnight? Let's, let's reason. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you are coming for an overnight, it is a commitment. It is a sacrifice. And if it is a sacrifice, tired or not tired, I will come to the house of the Lord. If there is anybody who takes fatigue, it is God. He is a God who gives, takes away our fatigue. Tell your neighbor you have no reason. You have no reason. You have no reason. 
You have no reason. Yes, our Lord was walking through the day. And then at night he goes up to the mountain. And very early in the morning he is in the mountain. He comes out of the mountain. He comes to the temple. As in 24 hours. The Lord is walking. The Lord is walking. And Paul said, I will walk. Day and night. People who are productive don't sleep. Hmm? No time to sleep. People who are productive have no time to sleep. They will be there. They have no reason. No excuse. You know, there are people who today would have said, I will not come to church. You know, my week was very tiring. Uh huh. <laughs> May the Lord help us. Steadfastness. Ability to stay unwavering. Remain loyal. Remain faithful. Remain committed. Remain devoted. That is unsteadfastness. That is steadfastness. Hallelujah. Being unmovable means you cannot be shaken. Tell somebody you cannot be shaken. You should not be shaken by anything. Not easily influenced. Not easily irritated by anything. You know, there are people who are irritated by small, small things. And you say, in this church, they're asking us to give so much, you want to shift church. You know, in this church, they're asking us to stay for three services, you want to shift church. Oh, in this church, they're always, always building. You are annoyed by somebody's dressing, you don't want to come to church. You are annoyed by somebody's hairstyle. I mean, for heaven's sake, you are annoyed by nothing. Tell your neighbor, they're unmovable. They're unmovable. Cannot be annoyed by small things. Because people talk, you are annoyed. People, because people gossip to you, you are annoyed. Let them gossip, I don't care. They will gossip and they will see me here again. Tomorrow and another day, the purpose of God will be fulfilled while I'm still alive. Nobody will kill my vision. Nobody will stop my purpose. The Lord does not make a mistake. If he brought you here, he brought you here for a purpose. I didn't come to Dandora by mistake. So no matter the level of demons, no matter the level of demons, even if they come from whatever agency, I don't care. I will not be moved. I will not be moved. If anybody else gives up, I am here to stay. Ha -ha. I am here to stay until I see the manifestation of the grace of God in Dandora. Hallelujah. Even if they plot against me. Ah, tell somebody they normally plot. <laughs> Even if they plot against me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Even if they plot against. I will continue doing. What I am supposed to be doing. Until. Until. I am promoted. Hallelujah. Oh. Just listen. Before you say promotion and think I'm going to heaven. I'm not talking about going to heaven. Promotion here. Promotion here. As people watch, I will be promoted. I am talking about this God who knows how to bless you in your continuity. He knows how to reward you in your continuity. He knows how to do good in your continuity. Uh -huh. There could be in church. Just in our midst. Huh? The devil knows that if he fights you from outside, you will not, you will not feel it. So he makes sure the enemy is within. The enemy is within. Tell your neighbor, I will stay with the enemy. I will love the enemy. I will bear with the enemy. Jesus was with Judas. Huh? Jesus 
was with Judas for the longest. And Jesus knew that this guy will betray me. Hmm? Judas says, are there? Uh-huh. Hallelujah. But we are conquering. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Listen to this. We should not be persuaded to anything. Nobody should stop your dream. Let me, let, do you know what was happening in the days of uh, Elisha, Elijah? The people against Elisha were not out there. They were the company of the prophets. The company of the prophets. The sons of the prophets. They were prophets. And they are the people against Elisha. I want to discourage Elisha somewhere. Elisha, you know. Elisha, you know. Elisha, you know. Like making you feel a fool. That you're so loyal, you're a fool. Because you're so loyal, you're a fool. So people want to tell you, why follow a woman? I know these things happen. I know these things happen. And when you become loyal to a male uh, pastor also, why follow this man? You know, like he has become your, your who? <laughs> May the Lord help us. But I am talking because I know these things are happening. People will do anything to break your loyalty, to break your consistency, to break your commitment. They will say you are a fool. All the best you can do is give, give, give to God. Pastor Kisema to let it to let it Hallelujah. I, I have brought even when they have not been told to bring. And I have known that giving is my, my, my life. Giving is my life. Eh? Hallelujah. That's where my blessings are. From Bethel to Jericho, the prophets were stopping him. From Jericho to Jordan, you can write Second Kings. That one I'm not going to read. But I want to read some scripture before you judge me. You, you know, you can judge me and say, this preacher did not read the word of God. The Bible. I have a physical Bible. For, uh, eh? For proof. But you can write Second Kings chapter number 1 to, to 9. About Eli, Elisha and Elijah. How many times are you persuaded against your vision? You are the right direction. Finally, this man said, we will never find any basis for charge against this man, Daniel, unless it has something to do with the law of his God. Neither corrupt nor negligent. Nor negligent. Did you hear that? He was neither corrupt nor negligent. Finally, this man said, we will never find any basis for charge against this man, Daniel, unless it has something to do with the law of his God. Verse number 10. Uh, verse number 10 says, now when Daniel learned that the decree has been published, he went home to his upstairs room where the windows opened towards Jerusalem. Three times uh, a day, he got down on his knees and prayed, giving thanks to God, just as he had done before. Tell somebody, just as he had done before. And if you can underline that, say, just as he had done before. Now listen. Daniel. Daniel is a unique character. He has a spirit of excellence. He has a spirit of excellence. He does things to his best. This version of, an, uh, of Amplified Bible, chapter number 58 of 1 Corinthians, where we read, we say that always excelling in the work of the Lord, always excelling. When we are talking about excelling, we are saying about doing your best. 
always doing your best, doing more than what is needed. You go an extra mile. We say we are coming here for morning devotion by five in the morning. You are here by four. You, we don't need to compel you. You just need to do better. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Excel. Do it smarter. Hallelujah. When we talk about Bible study, Corinthians, wherever, you read in advance. You go and study in advance. Learn to do things better, smarter. Now, this is what Daniel did. Daniel, wherever he was, and it came to a point that even the king noted, he distinguished himself among the other ministers. He was not a normal man. He did it better. He went an extra mile. He did excellence. He had an exceptional qualities. Until, say until, until his juniors were jealous. And they want to make sure this guy will pin him down. This guy must be pinned down. And so they look for something. Says that the accuser will always look for something. Mm. The accuser will always look for something. They said we, we need, need to put this guy down. We need to make sure he doesn't move at this pace. Uh, tell somebody uh, enemies of your progress are too many. <laughs> The enemies of your progress are too many. But they should not move you. They should not shake you. You should remain steadfast. Even if you know your neighbor is your enemy. The enemy of your progress, sorry. Your neighbor is the enemy of your progress. <laughs> Aha! Move on, moving on, move on, moving on. Don't look at your neighbor. Because if you look at your neighbor, you will stop doing what you have been doing before. And Daniel did what he has been doing before. He went on doing what he has been doing even when he knew that a decree has been written accusing him. I don't care. Even if they take me to prison, I will do what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't care. Even if they throw me into the den of lions, I will do what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't care who fights me. I will continue doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Am I talking to somebody? I said do not be unmovable. Do not be shakable. Be steadfast. There are lessons to learn here. This guy could not even be found with any corruption. Ah. <laughs> he had no time for corruption. Negligence. Some collabo with some members of a church against against <laughs> against the money of a church, against pastor, against, against. You know, those things happen. We are born again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are those listening to me here born again? May God help us. Now, your, your accusers, your competitors will find no base. Let them find no base. Let them find no base. Let them find no base to accuse you. Let them not say you came in late. Mm, and the way you pretend to be so loyal, you came in late. You pretend to be so committed, you came in late. Hallelujah. Let them not find a reason yeah, that you neglected some duty. You neglected. Because in the process of neglecting, you lose your promotion. And you know promotion comes without asking. Aha! When the Lord is favoring you, promotion comes without you asking for it. To Daniel, it just happened. He got favor with the king. And of course, he was promoted. And of course, he was promoted. Stand up on your feet. I want to talk to somebody. Stand up as we talk. Because I want us to hear this. He did just, he did just what he has been doing before. Even when he's aware that there are accusers out there who are scheming against him. And what does the Bible say in verses number 20? The Lord. Say the Lord. Fought for him. I've just paraphrased. Otherwise, chapter number 20, verse number 20 says that when Darius, Darius came to the den of lions, he called on Daniel. And Daniel said, my Lord. I think it's good to read verse number 20 as we pray. Verse number 20 says... 
uh, 22, sorry, 22. Daniel, let me start to verse 21. Daniel answered, may the king live forever. My God sent his angels. Say, angels will be sent. Somebody lift up your hands and say, angels will be sent. They will shut the mouths of the lions. Angels will be sent. They will shut the mouths of the lions. <laughs> Why? Why would, why would the lions be shut? Because Daniel says, they have not hurt me because I was found innocent in his eyes. Nor have I ever done anything wrong before you king. Before you, king, my majesty, I've never found, done anything wrong. Is somebody saying, I've never done anything wrong? Or do you want to lift up your hands and say, Father, help me from today to pick up the spirit of excellence from Daniel. Is there somebody who is talking to the Lord? I want somebody who says, Father, help me from today that I will be unshakable. I'll be unmovable. I will be steadfast. I need the spirit spirit of excellence from Daniel from today a spirit that will fight for me a spirit that will cause you to send your angels to shut the mouth of the lions and you Lord you will prove me innocent anytime you come you will prove me innocent oh God is there somebody who is speaking to the Lord lift up your hands and say Lord help me is there somebody who is saying Lord help me Lord help me Lord help me Lord because your word does not come to me in vain. This word is supposed to remind me that you will continually reward my faithfulness. You will continually reward my labor. You will continually reward my labor. It is not in vain that I serve you, O oh God. It is not in vain that I commit myself, Jehovah. I know you will reward me, O oh God. You will reward me, O oh God. Blessed be your holy name, Jehovah. You are worthy of all our praise. Worthy of all our adoration. Thank you, King of Kings, for speaking to us this day. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray.